everyone, welcome to our Universal Backlot Tour here on this lovely Minecraft day. My name is Charlie and I will be your tour guide. I hope you've all been enjoying the incredible activities and food that we have on offer today. We are going behind the scenes to see just how we bring movies to life. And as a special treat, we'll even get to see some of our favorite animated characters. First stop, San Francisco. Soundstage 50 is currently our San Francisco BART station set. Uh, nothing to worry about, just a minor tremor. Earthquakes are pretty common here in San Francisco. Tranquil? How does a trip to Amity Island sound? The Jaws Lake set is the perfect place to enjoy a sunny day if you ask me. Although I'm no expert, but is that a shark in the water? We'll just stay behind this tiny flammable dock. What could go wrong? See? Everything is totally fine. Let me introduce you to Bruce. Bruce is our mechanical shark and one of the hardest working actors here at Universal Studios. Bruce, of course, being the mechanical shark used in Jaws. Animated movies are also an important part of what we do here at Universal Studios. In 2001, our friends at DreamWorks released what would become one of the most popular animated movies of our time, Shrek. <sighs> Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy a journey through the story of Shrek. In a swamp far, far away lived an ogre named Shrek. Shrek loved his quiet home. But suddenly, his once peaceful swamp became overrun with fairy tale creatures. Lord Farquaad forced us to come here, Pinocchio exclaimed. Angered by the disturbance, Shrek set out to find Lord Farquaad. A deal was struck. Shrek would rescue Princess Fiona from a dragon infested castle. And in return, Lord Farquaad would restore his swamp to its once peaceful state. Shrek and his unexpected companion, Donkey, heroically ventured into the castle, hoping to rescue the princess from the highest room of the tallest tower. They had found her. With no time to spare, they were on their way. A distant roar echoed through the castle. You didn't slay the dragon? Fiona exclaimed. Running for their lives, they narrowly avoided the fiery fury of the dragon. They had done it! The princess was safe, and Shrek could deliver on his promise to Lord Farquaad. But as the days passed on the journey back to Duloc, Shrek and Fiona grew close, slowly falling for one another. However, Princess Fiona had a secret, a curse, transforming her into an ogre at night only to be broken by true love's first kiss. Ashamed, Fiona hid, hoping no one would see her. Except one did. Donkey. Fiona made him swear not to tell anyone, not even Shrek. Shrek had made a promise. He had rescued the princess for Lord Farquaad. No matter his feelings, he made a deal, and he would see it through. Shrek and Donkey handed over Fiona and went on their way. The deal was done. With wedding bells ringing, the day had arrived for Lord Farquaad to marry her. But Shrek didn't feel good. He missed Fiona. I object, yelled Shrek, rushing down the aisle, crashing the wedding. As the sun set, Princess Fiona floated up into the air, turning into her ogre form, surprising everyone, and more importantly, Lord Farquaad. Disgusted by her ogre form, Farquaad threatens to lock her away. 
all his yelling and anger, such a sore on the ears, but nothing a hungry dragon couldn't fix. With true love's kiss, the curse was broken, and Fiona remained an ogre. I don't get it. I was meant to be beautiful, she sighed. Shrek gazed into her eyes, a gentle warmth in his voice. But you are beautiful. Returning to Shrek's swamp, they both lived happily ever after. Oh, I do love a good happy ending. Wasn't that great? I'd highly recommend visiting Shrek Swamp if you haven't already. Well, friends, our tour sadly has to come to an end. From all of us here at Universal Studios, thank you and have a wonderful day.